Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create and install Lightroom presets. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. In today's episode, as a part of our intro to Lightroom free series, we're gonna show you how to create and install Lightroom presets. Basically, all of the adjustments you can make in Lightroom can be recorded into a preset. So if you want to get those same results again, all you have to do is hit play on your preset and it's going to automatically move everything for you and produce that same result. This can be incredibly helpful for creating your own stylized looks or for creating a multitude of different options to send your clients. On Flurn.com, we offer a ton of Lightroom preset packs that are all included in Flurn Pro, and today we're gonna to be using the free sample 10 pack that's available. We're gonna to link to that right down below, and you can click on your screen to download that free sample 10 pack so you can follow along with this video. In this video, we're gonna create a vintage looking film preset. So here we are in Lightroom. Now we've already done quite a bit in this series. So what you can see is our images are organized and filtered and tagged and things like that. If you haven't been watching this series, make sure to start at the very beginning so you can get a good idea of how we work in Lightroom Classic. So to create our Lightroom preset, we're gonna start off with this image, Intro to Lightroom 16. And of course you can download all these sample images on Florin as well. Just follow the link right down below. It's all right down below. You get all your links, it's all wonderful. So to start off with, we need to work in our develop module. And this is where we're gonna be making some adjustments. And I wanna create like a film type look. So we're gonna start off by lowering our contrast. I want this to kind of look like a little bit vintage, a little bit old. Uh, so basically I want it to look kind of faded. So we're gonna start by lowering our contrast. I'm gonna bring our texture and our clarity down just a little bit. It's gonna make it like almost like out of focus a tiny bit. We're gonna bring our vibrance down a little bit as well. And we're gonna bring up our shadow value, just make that a little bit brighter and bring down our highlight value. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and scroll right down here because all of these things can be included in our presets. So here's our split toning, which I wanna include just a little bit of. We're gonna put some saturation in there and then warm this up. So let's go ahead and choose our highlight color. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our shadow color here. Very nice, nice and red. Fantastic, that's looking great. And we're gonna scroll right down to where we see our effects and I'm also going to add some grain to this. So as we zoom in, there we go, we can see now we have a nice grainy effect on our image. Now if we go back through our history, this is what our image looked like when we imported it. Pretty much just looks like a straight out of camera image. And here we have a nice film look that's not too overdone in my opinion. And of course you can make any changes that you want. This is just gonna get us started as an example. So let's say we like this look and we wanna start applying this to multiple images or maybe just come back to Lightroom again later on in a different session and be able to replicate the same look. So what we need to do is create a Lightroom preset. Very easy to do. Here in Lightroom, we're in our develop module. That's important, so make sure this develop icon is highlighted up at the very top. We're gonna to go to presets, and then I'm gonna click on the plus icon, and we're gonna to go to create preset. Okay, now I'm just going to give it a name. Let's just call this vintage film. There we go, and we're gonna put this in a new group. We'll just call Flurn. Let's go ahead and hit create. So now it's time to choose our settings. We wanna choose just the settings that we actually changed so those go into making the preset. So right down here, we're gonna go ahead and click on check none. I want just the things that I actually changed. So for, fortunately, I can see some of these things. So you can see I've edited my contrast, I've edited my highlights, I edited my shadows, I did some work on texture and clarity. There we go, I did vibrance changes, I added some split toning to my image, and down here, I added some grain. Now, you can, of course, just hit check all down here, but that's gonna, for instance, like white balance would be included here. And if you didn't want your white balance changed as a part of the preset, you don't wanna include that here. So literally just the things that you check here are gonna be included in the preset itself. Okay, well, there we go. Let's hit create. And now we can see under our Flurn folder, we have vintage film. So let's go back and choose another image. I'm gonna hit G to go to my grid view. Okay, and let's choose another image in our series. So we can go ahead and click on this image. Let's go ahead and double click there on our develop module, and then go ahead and click on vintage film. And you can see that change automatically apply. I didn't have to, have to click. You can just hover right over it and see that change. 
So you can see all of our coloring is in there, the grain is in there, all of our settings are now applied to this new photo with just one click. And that's fantastic. You can still make changes if you want to. For instance, if you're like, oh, I like everything, but I don't want the grain in there, it's not a big deal. You can just scroll right down here, go to your effects, there we go, and you can just turn your grain off and you have all the other settings with no grain in there. Okay, it's an incredibly easy way to make some changes to a series of photos. So if you wanna apply this to multiple photos quickly, just go to your develop module here and then make sure at the very bottom here you see your film strip. So I can click through my different images here in my film strip. They're all gonna load into my develop module and then I can just simply click on vintage film for each of these and when I click, boom, each of these images is automatically going to go to that new look. So if I take a look at several images that have all been applied the same look, we can see that they're all a lot more cohesive than they were before. Now let's say you wanna share these presets with someone else, you can export them really easily. So back here in the develop module, we're gonna to go to our Flurn group, which right now just has one preset in it. We're gonna right click and go to export group, and we're gonna go ahead and save it out. And just for now, we're just gonna place it right here on the desktop and hit save. That's literally all there is to it. So now let's show you how to import presets. And for this, we're gonna be using the free sample 10 pack that's included on Florin.com. So to import your presets, you wanna make sure you're here in your develop module. Go to your left side bar and open up your presets and click this plus icon. We're gonna to go to import presets. There we are. Now here on our desktop, I've already loaded our free sample 10 pack here. So let's go ahead and just shift click all of these Lightroom presets and click on import. And we can see, just takes a second, we have a few different groups because we have a lot of different preset packs available on florin.com. So this go, goes ahead and opens these in different groups. And here you can see all of the sample presets that are available. So all I have to do is hover over these different presets and you can see how they affect your images. And the whole idea with Lightroom presets is that some are going to work well for different images and some are going to work well for other images. So you wanna find the images like that looks fantastic for this photo. So you wanna find the presets that work well with your image. Let's go ahead and show you one more example here. We're just gonna go right up to this image here, click on our develop module, and just scroll through our different presets. So here we have at the very top, that looks fantastic. There we go. Just scrolling through these, we can see all of these changes we're able to apply to our photo. This is really nice. It's so vibrant and beautiful. Fantastic. I think all of these look really, really great. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Look at that. A nice powder blue in our pastel set. Fantastic. But I think, where was it? This super vibrant one. I think this is my favorite of the set. So you can see once you import your sample presets, they're incredibly easy to use. Literally just click on them and your editing is done. So this sample 10 pack is available on flurn.com for free. You can follow the link in the description right down below to download your free sample 10 pack. And if you're a Flurn Pro member, you have instant access to all of our Lightroom preset packs, as well as all of our pro tutorials, brushes, actions, and more. And that's all there is to creating and installing Lightroom presets. Thank you so much. I'll flirty later. Bye, everyone.